Welcome to Law Help Australia, where we keep you safe and informed with tips and updates. This is an election year, and November, on the no November 29th, we've got the election. So what a better time to talk about the state of the law in the state of Victoria and multiculturalism. To talk about the state of the law, we've got none other than the Attorney General himself, the Honourable Robert Clark. Thank you for coming, Robert. No, thanks, Tadesh. Good to be with you. Thank you. To talk about multiculturalism, we've got the Shadow Parliamentary Secretary to the Leader of the Opposition and Multicultural Affairs, a man from a multicultural background himself, Telmo Languila. Welcome, Telmo. Thank you for coming. Good to be with you, Tanish. Thank you. Thank you. Representing lawyers, 19,000 of them, the President of the Law Institute of Victoria, Jeff Boyer. Thank you for coming, Jeff. It's a pleasure, and I was born in a multicultural society outside Shepherd, and so it's particularly apt I'm here. Thank you. Good. Call for parties. Law Institute has initiated call for parties agenda. Let Jeff introduce the call for parties agenda. Dinesh, really we've been doing this for a number of elections now. We see um, the role which government plays in the administration of justice is absolutely fundamental. And we think it's really important for our members and for the general public to have all, all candidates give a view as to what their positions are going to be on key, key planks of uh, justice in our society. So things like funding legal aid, uh, cost of court fees, uh, sentencing reform, uh, family violence, those sorts of issues uh, were seen as key issues um, and all of those issues have been put to the various candidates. And have and you got feedback? Yes, we have and uh, it's great to have Robert here today and, and certainly all the major parties have given feedback in regards to where they see their programs compared to the LIV's objectives. All right, so let's start. Let's talk about legal aid funding. Where do we stand? Well, we see uh, the legal aid issue as one of an increasing concern for our community. Uh, more and more uh, needy Victorians are in need of legal aid. Uh, we understand in times of uh, economic uh, hardship that there is always going to be limited government resources to that issue. So the Law Institute of Victoria's position is we want to see legal aid work most efficiently and be providing a maximum amount of legal assistance to needy Victorians. So we've asked the uh, various parties um, to look at a number of issues. One, a review of how, of how legal aid is um, dispensed, involving lawyers in their consultation process, looking at a once-off $10 million injection into the legal aid budget, as we think there are very many needy Victorians who are missing out on legal aid, and generally getting the views of the, of the parties as how they're going to address the growing gulf between the needs of Victorians in terms of access to justice and limited funds available. What is the feedback? Is it positive? Well, to be fair to all parties, they, they all have indicated um, positions. So certainly from the uh, Attorney General's point of view, uh, the Attorney General has indicated that he's committed over a four-year period uh, $3.4 million per annum increase to uh, legal aid. Um, he believes that, uh, and I'm, I'm just paraphrasing from the responses here, that, uh, that he supports uh, the, the Victorian legal aid system as it, as it, as it generally works. Um, the Australian Labor Party's position is that they would have a re review of legal aid and how it operates. They would have a root and branch review of um, the whole justice system to ensure that, uh, that legal aid is basically dispensed to the most needy. Um, the Greens have indicated effectively that they would support most of the Law Institute of Victoria's positions, a once-off $10, $10 million grant um, to legal aid and also um, a review. It's fair to say, and I'm absolutely, whether it's Robert and Power or whether it's um, uh, basically Telmo's party in power, we know that there's a national partnership between the state government and the federal government. And uh, there's been a growing gulf uh, between uh, the state government's contribution and a lesser contribution proportionately from the federal government. And somehow Victorians are caught in the middle of um, a, a crisis in terms of how that national partnership is working. Are you generally happy with these uh, responses, Robert? Uh well, a, from a Victorian government point of view, we're very strongly supportive of uh, the work of Victoria Legal Aid. We think they've done an excellent job for many years. 
We've provided them with record funding, about 22% higher than the levels we're at when we came to office. Indeed, we've recently added some additional funding to help uh, Victoria Legal Aid and Community Legal Centres advise clients with family violence uh, matters. Uh, we'd agree with uh, Jeff <coughs> Bowyer that uh, unfortunately over many years now the Commonwealth contribution to uh, legal aid has uh, declined and we would certainly welcome an increased Commonwealth contribution. But from a state government, uh, we believe that uh, Victoria Legal Aid has been doing a a very good job in ensuring that funds are, are well targeted and, and uh, are well directed. Uh, there's currently a review of the national uh, legal partnership uh, arrangements underway, uh, being conducted in conjunction with the Commonwealth, and we're looking forward to the outcome of, uh, of that result. And obviously we hope that that will put uh, uh, legal aid funding from the Commonwealth on a more secure basis.